After Narendra Modi praised Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar for liquor ban in response to his gesture to support demonetization, now comes the next step. Bihar BJP has decided to hold hands in a human chain to spread awareness about benefits of liquor ban on January the 21st. Not just that, Nitish is now appealing to the PM to ban booze in all BJP ruled states. The list of BJP ruled states include Gujarat, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, MP, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Jharkhand, Assam, Nagaland, and coalition governments in JNK, Punjab, and Andhra Pradesh. The human chain is meant to extend over 11,000 kilometers in Bihar. Locally, the ruling JDU says the state BJP chose to extend support as the liquor ban was getting praise. But then how is it the crime rate has actually increased by 13% ever since the ban was enforced? Are these early signs India might be heading towards a major liquor ban campaign before the 2019 general elections? I must say, it fits quite nicely with the RSS agenda and a teetotaler image which the right wing likes to project. Besides, after demonetization and its sudden impact, it has shown Modi's tendency to shock and awe. He likes these bombastic announcements which can knock your socks off. Currently, liquor ban is in force in Gujarat, Kerala, Bihar, Nagaland and Manipur, as well as in the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Mizoram and Tamil Nadu have previously enforced but later repealed prohibition. Between the 1920s and 30s to almost two decades after independence, alcohol was banned in many parts of India. By 1954, almost one-fourth of India was under prohibition. There are enough reports or stories about how people and bootleggers find a way to beat the system. Yet in Bihar, we get to hear how tough the administration is in its clamp down. For example, breathalyzers are used on all car occupants, not just the driver. Penalties are heavy. Other spin-off is sale of spurious liquor that is necessarily not confined to dry states. In July 2009, 136 people died in Gujarat after consuming hooch. In June 2015, 95 died after drinking illegal liquor in Mumbai. Revenue-wise, booze matters as Kerala faces an estimated loss of over 7,000 crore rupees annually and Gujarat loses an estimated 2,000 to 3,000 crore rupees in revenue per year. Bihar is set to lose more than 4,000 crores annually. Yes, I know it is a matter of debate whether a state should ban booze or not. A recent Supreme Court judgment banning all liquor retail outlets on the highway would save many lives. Yet, when politicians use this to garner votes or project a sanctimonious image, there is cause for, for worry. So let's wait and see what happens next. Who knows, India might be heading for total prohibition.